Johnny Appleseed, a poem by Reeve Lindbergh. In the early days of the American frontier, when most of this nation was still wild, unsettled land, there lived a man of great courage and gentleness who traveled through the wilderness planting apple trees. His name was John Chapman. Though he came to be known to generations of Americans as Johnny Appleseed, this is one story about his gift to our country. These apple trees were planted here a century ago, a hundred years of springtime bloom, a hundred years of snow. A hundred apple autumns with the wild geese flying by, a hundred years of applesauce and steaming apple pie. The man who planted apple trees once stood here on this land, a sack of seeds upon his back, a Bible in his hand. Young Hannah Goodwin saw him first, a stranger lean and lorn. His face was thin, his feet were bare, his clothing old and worn. And Goodwin family asked him in to dine and talk a while. America was lonely then. He'd traveled many a mile. He said he'd gladly stay to sup, but could not linger here. He had to go plant apple trees across the great frontier. He said it was wide, a wild land, a lonesome land and long. He said his apples, sharp and sweet, would make the country song. The family listened while he spoke of forests green and grand, of prairies vast with waving grass, of rivers ribbed in sand. He spoke of families like their own, all moving bravely west, with guns and lots of cooking pots to claim the wilderness. He said he'd bring them apple trees, our Lord's gift to the earth. He said the sun would warm his seeds, the rain would give them birth. He said that each good orchard grown would bear fruit as God planned and give the yearning pioneers a taste of promised land. The Goodwin family wished him well and watched him leave alone. He carried neither gun nor knife, no weapon did he own. For though he walked alone and lorn through dangerous land and wild, he said he'd harm no creature born, each one was God's own child. Young Hannah heard the tales of him all through her growing years, as he brought apples sharp and sweet to other pioneers. She heard he walked through day and night and through the winds that moan. She heard he walked in snow and rain that chilled him to the bone. And where he walked, she heard he gave his blessing softly thrown. She scattered seeds among the weeds, the sweet fruit, the sweet fruit wisely grown. She heard he loved the forest land and all its creatures too, wild deer and hare, wild wolf and bear, and every bird that flew. She heard the Indians trusted him, he knew the things they knew, which plants would heal or make a meal, which streams ran clear and true. He walked all trails and heard all tales, his orchards spread the grew, and where he went the deep rich, rich scent of apple blossoms blew. Old Hannah Goodwin saw him last when many years had gone. He came in by the orchard gate, a quiet hour passed on. 
Old Hannah knew that gentle smile, that face so long and thin. There was a Bible in his hand. He spoke of where he'd been. He'd walked all through America in all his seeds he'd sown. He'd planted apples sharp and sweet, and swiftly they had grown. There was spicy apple cider now out on the western plain. There was applesauce in Iowa and apple pie in Maine. Apples gr- Cross the wide Missouri and down the Ohio, sharp and sweet across the land they made our country grow. Old Hannah Goodwin offered thanks for her own trees grown so tall. He said no thanks were owed to him, the Lord had made them all. To grow a country or a tree takes just a planter who will seed and tend till in the end the earth's best dreams come true. He said farewell and traveled on and did not come again. But in this orchard, sharp and sweet, his apples still remain. Old Hannah Goodwin talked of him in apple time each year. When the orchard came to harvest and the air was crisp and clear, she'd ask children to remember and to thank the Lord indeed for apples sharp, for apple sharp and apple sweet and Johnny Appleseed. The end.